Hi everybody, welcome to my Minecraft tutorial. This is how to use a program called InvEdit, I-N-V-E-D-I-T, in order to make changes to your inventory outside of the game. So yes, it is considered a hack tool or a cheat tool, and I actually do use it occasionally for my tutorials, um, which I don't consider cheating because everything I do in my tutorials is in the name of science. So you can justify it any way you desire. Um, but that's how I justify it to you. So anything in your inventory here, you can add and remove stuff at will, and I will show you how to get the program outside of the game. So let's get started. Okay, so now let's do a quick demonstration of the actual program, and in order to do that, we need to shut Minecraft down, or at the very least, just close down the world that you're in, and let's go grab the program. So head on over to Google, and you want to type in Minecraft, I-N-V-E-D-I-T, InvEdit, like so, hit enter, and it should be the very first hit, and make sure that it's going to minecraftforum.net, and not some scam site. Click on that, open it up, and you should see this page right here. Scroll on down to click me, and download the program, it's going to give it a name, invedit.zip, Make sure you know where it's going to go. And go ahead and download it. It should only take a minute. It's a small program. Then head over to that folder you downloaded it in to and unzip it. So I have 7-zip, so I just right click, choose 7-zip, extract here. And now I have an invedit folder. Now within that folder, all you need to do is find the invedit application, give it a double click start it up. Okay, so now let's take a look at the InvEdit interface. It's quite simple. On the left hand side we have this white space. This is where my inventory for a particular world is going to show. On the right hand side is the item list. So everything available in the game up to the point or up to the supported um, version of Minecraft. So right now if I click on the About in Inventory Editor it shows me the version of the program and I know that this one is actually compatible with my Minecraft Beta 1.5. So it's got all the items up to Minecraft Beta 1.5. So if Minecraft updates in a week from now and uh, Notch adds, um, I don't know, old shoes, then the old shoes will not be listed in here until you click on Check for Updates. When you click on Check for Updates, this program goes out, looks for an update, and it will update automatically if there is one. So with that done, now let's go ahead and open up one of my worlds. So if you click on this button right here, you should see a listing of all of your worlds. I'm going to click on Tutorial World, and this is my inventory for my Tutorial World character. So now if I want to, for example, have some clay in my inventory, it's really simple. Just click on the clay, drag and drop, and Inventory Editor automatically gives me the maximum number that I can have in a single stack, which is 64 for clay. Um, Let's say I want to drag and drop some snowballs. Go up here to the search. Now I could, I could do this and search for and look for snowballs, but that's kind of a hassle. Or I can just come up here into the search bar and just start typing snow, and there are snowballs. Now if I drag and drop snowballs into my inventory, snowballs are limited to a maximum of 16, and the program is smart enough to cap it at 16. Excellent backspace and it refills the list. Now if you want to look for something specific, the best way to do it obviously is to do something like this. Type it in, diamond pick. But let's say I want a diamond pick, I can just do this as well. Or maybe I just want to look at all the tools. Click on the little tool button here. These are just filter buttons and it'll show me all the tools. Uncheck it, unclick it rather, and it'll show everything again. Let's say I just want to see food. Click on the bread, it just shows food, armor, miscellaneous, so you get the idea. All right, so now these numbers right here obviously is the account that I have in the inventory of that particular item, and this up here represents that count. So let's say I have this 11 pieces of dirt, but I want to have 64. I can come up here and click on that button forever to get to 64, or I can just overwrite and type in. 64 there. Baboom. I want 64 pieces of flint. Very simple. 
You can go the other way too. Let's say I don't want that many. Just like that. Now some items have a damage counter right here. For example, the pick, which obviously degrades over time as you use it. So that figure is shown right here. Let's say I want to repair my pick. Type in a zero and bingo, it's repaired. 100% back to normal, good as new. And you can do the same thing with, uh, with armor and anything else that degrades, tools and weapons. Uh, if you want to delete things, if you want to remove things from your inventory, just drag and drop it under the trash can. You can rearrange things in here too. So what you see here is what you get in the game. So I'm going to move everything over here, make it a little tidier. Um, I'll have one empty bucket. And let's see, where are the buckets? No, probably here with containers maybe? Yes, so I'm going to put a bucket of water, a bucket of lava, and I'll throw a compass in there. All right, so when you're happy with uh, all of your changes to the inventory, you would come up here and you can click on the save button. But I also, I just like to make sure that it's saving to the right world. Um, if I click it, it will automatically. No, nope, my bad. If I click on the save here, it actually gives me the opportunity to create a whole new level.dat, which I don't want to do. So if you drop down that button, you can save to the world. And I want to save it to my tutorial world because that's where I started. All right, so that's pretty much it. I mean, there's a couple of other little things in here. I don't even bother with these, so this is pretty much all I do. I open it up. Here's my beta testing world. Let's say I wanted some armor. I'm going to give this guy some chain mail. There are some items here that you can't normally get in the game that you may not be able to find in the game without uh, cheating somehow. For example, chainmail. So that gives you the opportunity to play around with some new stuff. Now if I want to save beta 1.5 to beta 1.5 world, then I drop it down and I choose that. Make sure you choose the right one. Flint let's, has been used up. There, now it's back to new. Don't forget to save again. And then you're done. So now I can go back to Minecraft. Load up my tutorial world and I'll show you the inventory. So there it is, my rearranged inventory. I've got the water bucket, the lava bucket I dropped in, the compass, etc. And that's pretty much it. Go back to the program. Load up tutorial world. And just like that, there it is. So there's not much more to it than that, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If this helped you out in any way, go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you don't mind. It certainly helps. I do appreciate them. And uh, I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.